Hello guys, and today I want to tell you about a game called Survival Fountain of Youth. Wow, what a game. After Strand Deep, I have been just itching for another castaway crafting game, and this is so much more. Thank you so much for that, for bringing this game into my life. To be fair, Strand Deep was just hands down beautiful with regards to the ocean and underwater, and had this game beat there, but everything else is plus. Took me a few hours to get into it, used to the mechanics and get totally hooked. So stay with the people. This game is a gem. I cannot believe it was not more high profile on YouTube for upcoming craft games. I spent hours on there looking for games like this. Quite annoyed on one hand but pleased it exists on the other. I found it in the same discovery queue. Took me about 10 hours before I got foothold on my survival, comfortable ish with food, water protection, etc. After the 30 hours now and I haven't even built a boat yet for the other island so. After 27 hours I can officially say I absolutely enjoy the game. I'm not the biggest survival gamer but I really like how they've done things here. Progression is not locked behind a grindy XP game loop that requires endless hours of doing the same thing over and over, just so you can not craft a slightly better spear. You can craft the base, but a good spear, all based on the resources you have found and the resources themselves aren't locked behind an XP win either. You want to use obsidian spears? Ok, there is some upfront effort to put in, but once you've located your obsidian node and have the stone pick, you can craft your obsidian spears at the workbench. You can do that by day 2 if you prioritize it or you can await your call. The story is there in the background and for what is it enjoyable enough. I actually forgot I even had a storyline to follow for a while and I was having so much fun discovering the island, new resources and being chased around by angry balls. The best part of this game in my opinion is the way they handle building. One of the things that absolutely kills me in most games that have free building is the need to swing my hammer 50 times just to put two walls in. This game gathers the supplies needed and the game automatically fast forwards time based on what you're doing. This isn't just for building, it's for everything. I don't need to hit a tree 15 times with my axe. I just say I want to cut down this tree and the game moves them forwards. It really allows me to enjoy what I want to do and what I have to do. The water food system is good as well but could be better with some additional basic tweaks. At first it's brutal staying alive but once you figure out the tricks it's no real challenge. Until of course you fail to plan ahead and things snowball on you once Murphy and has damp low get involved, then you find yourself starving and dying dehydration while a jaguar paces around your dog as you slowly slip away into oblivion hiding underneath it. I'm loving all your mechanics. I see you were going for realism and I think it really pays off. I love the mapping, the spread out resources, how crafting takes time and the day spins forward an hour or more. I love the rain, soaked and sun, sunburn, all the other conditions, the item weights. And holy hell, the amount you can craft is amazing. 34 workstations for example and they just crash the surface with the other stuff going on. Weapons, balls, building cards, containers. With regards to crafting this game all over Stranded Deep as does the story and lore. My head is off to you devsters. I also seen a review moaning about collectible zone only in certain points when you pass rock formations all the time. Just think of it as in you need a certain type of stone. Makes it more real and having to track for resources is clearly part of this game as it should be in any survival. Plus with mapping and the cards or even no cards it is a piece of. My base is coming on a treat after 30 hours and have so much more to do. After 30 hours, no bugs, no crashes, I would be happy if this was a finished game. So far, no idea how to complete it all, is it and how far I can go. But I can't wait to check out the roadmap if there's one. Thank you guys for watching this review, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and bye.